so welcome back to this channel once again and in this video session i will discuss making the prompt selective in cl so in my previous video i discussed how we can code the selective prompting in cl but this time i'm going to make this uh prompt selective so that uh, uh, you can uh, or we can have some parameters which you want to show or which you want which we do not want to show to user at the time of uh, prompting that command to the user so let's uh, see the demo for this i just created one example and uh, let me show you that so this is the example where earlier i just used this this one so this was my previous program where i just use sent sent message command and uh, before that i just prefixed that with question mark which makes it uh, uh, pro selective you can say prompt selective but it does not ask for any parameter okay so this was selective prompting bus but this time i'll show you how you can make this prompt selective so let me show you this again so here what i am going to doing is i would be using some um, control characters with the uh, this question mark which is the prefix which is uh, basically for um uh, selective prompting okay so here what i am going to doing is i would only be showing message parameter while the prompting okay and this will be having the default value blank and when i am using double question mark means one question mark double question mark then it means that this is an input capable field means we can take input we can just uh, change the message the default value is blank but we can change the message uh, as per our convenience and then uh, we can act accordingly okay and here we can see that yeah this is the important thing which i told you in my previous video also that we must be handling this cpf 6801 that is uh, coming to this whenever we are taking or uh, whenever we are taking f3 or f12 uh, when this selective prompting is active now this time i am making this prompt selective we are either hiding or showing some parameters to the user which we want to show or we are supplying some uh, previous or default values okay so now in the second prompting we can see that we are again executing the send message command so it will be prompted since since question mark is prefixed with this command now this time also i am using the double question mark um, which uh, basically uh, prompt for the message parameter and that message parameter would be hard coded as test message as we can see here okay again we are doing the same thing same handling and then sending the p the pro message to the program message queue as executed to once if we are taking f12 for pressing f3 we are returning from the program at that point only okay here we can see i didn't i am not using uh, double question mark instead of double question mark i am using question mark and then star which means that uh, and also which means that this is not an input capable field okay this is an output capable field whatever value i am providing i cannot change that later after the uh, prompt become selective is taken f4 here okay these are the default parameters we need to take f10 and then we will be seeing this two message queue so we won't be able to provide the value at the time of select prompt 
from getting selected selective okay here we are providing the default value as qsys opr okay which is output capable means it is not input capable we cannot change the value in this case and in this case also okay now the third one is question mark and then dash sign hyphen sign so in this case what i'm doing is actually i'm hiding this parameter from the command so whenever selective prompting happens let's take f4 here f10 so this is the message type so currently uh, it is visible but actually we are taking f4 so it is visible but the time of running the program or when the program is getting executed we won't be able to see this message because we used this dash okay now this time the message type would be uh, blank and at this time the message type would be inquiry by default but we won't be able to see the uh, message type parameter while the prompt is selective okay so let me show you the demo by debugging this so first i'll compile this take yes so program this is created successfully now i will debug this So put the breakpoint at line number one. Call this program CLPGM10. So now this time we would be seeing the message parameter. Since this is input capable, we can provide the value or we can change. Either we can keep the message as blank or we can provide the value, but the default value is blank. Okay. So I am providing test one. Okay. So we need to give the user profile if we are not giving. Uh, just press enter it will ask for us that either username or the message keyboard are specified or missing okay so we need to give something so i'm providing the user easy class just press enter either we can take f3 or f12 so we have already handled the f3 and f12 for this command or uh, selective prompting for this command okay so now i'm pressing enter so we can see this message okay now since we have handled this and nothing uh, got pressed either neither f3 nor f12 now this time it will send the pro message to the program queue and we will be seeing this these messages executed one and so on once this program gets finished okay and now this time also this will prompt for the message parameter and the default message parameter would be test message so we can see yes test message since this is uh, we use the double question mark so we can change this message also test message we can make it test message 2 okay we need to give the user easy class so we can see the message okay executed 2 is finished now the third thing is question mark and this asterisk sign so this will not allow me to change the value of the message queue which will be default so let me give some message test 2 okay let's take f10 now we can see that two message queue is now this is uh, output capable field this is not an input capable field we cannot change the value of this parameter since we used question mark and it's trick okay so easy class okay we can see the message this thing also but this time the default value will would be qsys opr just f10 message to qsys opr So either uh, we need to give two message queue or two user. So this time we have provided two message queue. So we can't provide two user this time. The so two message queue is QSYS OPR. So let me 
press enter and we cannot change the value this is the default value so the message is sent to the QCS OPR work message queue let me check QCS OPR message to QCS OPR okay so we can see the message to this message queue okay executed for is complete now this time question mark and dash so message type would wa won't be uh, visible to us if you take f10 also so we can see two message queue so i will be giving message just again easy class okay so we cannot see the message type here now anymore because that is now hidden okay because we use this control character executed five again but this time the message type would be enquiry by default we won't be see test tries easy class either we can give the two user or two message queue which uh, depend upon us but we cannot see that uh, message type uh, parameter anymore okay so this is an inquiry message so so it was asking for me to reply but i didn't reply i take f12 Doing the reply and coming out of that okay so we can see those messages executed one two three four five six okay so this thing so earlier in earlier video we just uh, we learn how we can code for the selective prompting in cl but and handling those f3 and f12 thing a uh, while uh, selective prompting but this time we may we learn how we can make that prompt selective uh, that is which command we want that which parameter of the command we want that to be uh, input capable or an output capable means we can change or we cannot change or which we want to show so using these control characters which i showed you here in my here in my this program that is question mark question mark question mark asterisk and question mark dash so using these control characters um, we can uh, make the prompt selective in the cl programming so that's all which i want to uh, uh, tell you here so thank you and have a nice time